The Redeemer has risen. Hey, what is up, guys? Marsley here, back to do another first person video. And this is going to be a EPV against Futurama. Anyways, I've got a couple of these videos to post for you guys. Uh, plenty of awesome games to come. Anyways, some of these games did have some lag in them, but what I did was I went to uh, Replay Viewer in Kane Draft and I took footage from um, through the eyes of my perspective in the replay and superimposed it on this video here, just so you guys don't have to bear with the you know horrendous lag which I had. From now on though, I'm going to be posting in 1440p because it seems with some latest driver update that I have the uh, video encoder doesn't work so well in this game. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This could be Master Leaf. Peace out. Actually, we're playing on this map. I, I just played this map versus Panda. And I went for nothing but Ravagers, Gunwalk, Shardwalk, not Gunwalkers, Corruptors and Devourer tanks. As well as two to three Storms just to harass in the back. So I might do that again this game. I need to pack along Corruptors though if I decide to go Imp. Because if I don't, he's just going to um, garrison the buildings up. Anyways, guys, do tell me if my microphone is too loud or if my game is too loud. Because, uh, yeah. If it's, I can always just fix that real quick. But yeah, I'm versus random, aren't I? Yeah, that's kind of... I, I don't fare too well against random because I just don't know what to do. Like, my strategy isn't really well defined versus random just you know blanket scout the map I'm gonna make a few descents anyways just you know to kill any buzzers that he has if he's screen because buzzer v buzzer you can't really win that if your opponent's microing their own buzzers okay and we'll probably pick up some viewers as we go uh, this is my f I usually think about the stream a lot when I start playing and doing this streaming thing. Hopefully my stream goes smoothly. Just one of those things though. What faction will see is Mark, of course, yeah. Alright, well, Marked of Kane for Futurama. Hey, what hotkeys do you use for units? I use all the default hotkeys. All of them. Oh, there we go. He's probably going to make a buggy in response to this. He's like, oh my god, he's probably got tons of descents. But I've only got two forces out of the buggy anyway. We'll delay his build. Anyway, going for aggression on two for two sides on this map is going to be pretty lethal because look at the expansion field. It's so far away from your war factory. So it's really easy to get your opponent out of position, I think, because of that. Okay. He's expanding with his aim to be though, Futurama. He's got that buggy out though, just to clear me up. He's not bothering to scout me, which... I mean, he could be going double war factory if that's the case. So he's got an awakened in my base as well. This is a buzzer up here. Actually, no, it was a buzzer. I wouldn't have won that anyway, that fight. Oh, nice aim. Getting two refineries there. Wow, that really was a pretty good EMP for him. Anyway, you go for some Gunwalkers and Seekers. And I'll mention this again, I have a um, macro where I queue two Seekers for every Shardwalker. Because uh, I just think that's a really good ratio. It was in 1.02. Not sure how it is in this patch. But we're going to start off with a couple Gunwalkers in this uh, game here. Just to scout what he's up to, I'm going to go for that um, spam with the Seekers. I think just Seekers if I'm going to be aggressive. Try and hit him from multiple sides. See how he fares with that. He's got that buggy out on the field as well. We're going to just use this Seeker to scout. See if he's going for that ref, which he is. However, I don't know if he's going for a double... If he's going for bikes up here. I'm just going to leave one Seeker in the top of the map just uh, for that reason. Just in case he's got something there. There's a uh, seek buggy there. Actually, did I not mention this before? Futurama, one of his major, like... Abilities in this game is micring really well. He seems to be really good at that. Just kidding out this buggy real quick. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna just go for this these multi pronged attacks. And 
yeah, he's going to go for the Seekers, um, the Scorpion tanks. I'm going to aim to transition out of this, though, into Tripod soon. Don't want to lose these forces, though, if I can help it. Try and force out, maybe. He scouts the Double War Factory, so maybe not wise going for that anymore. Got another group of Seekers here, which I can use to for another wave up there. I'm just going to go for a couple distance. I'm not going to overspend. Just want to make him force out a bunch of buggies because I don't want him to go into mass scorpion tank purely. He's going to scout me there. Okay. Nice job. I want him to see my descents though, just so he makes a bunch of shredder turrets and stuff. That's exactly what I want in this game from Futrama. Okay. See, look, this is really the key. He does really well with the the scouting. Oh, gonna get a nice sketch here. He's probably gonna rally some forces back and hold me back. Yeah, he is. All right, don't wanna lose anything here. I think he's going stealth tank, so I'm gonna queue some, just one seeker for each uh, type of field, just in case he's got stealth tanks. I wanna make sure that I don't lose them all to him. And we're going to test out how good the $2,800 tripods are as well. I think he's here as well with a bunch of units, which he is. Going avatars. All right. Just kill this buggy. We're not going to use our cloaking field to swap out. I'm thinking of stasising his tier 3. Then I could maybe, you know, delay his, try his production. All right, well, he's in trouble now. He'll lose his seekers if he's stuff if he's not careful. All right, he's planted down those shredder turret um, shredder turrets because he's seen that I was going for a bunch of a bunch of um, come on. There we go. All right, moving forward with MCV. That's fine. Moving act. Oh my god. Going in for a huge counter attack. I don't think he's going to be too successful with that though, because I've already got a couple of tripods out. He's going to have to transition into infantry. Hmm. Going for the middle field, are we? Okay. Well, one thing I haven't been doing is doing Icor Seed. Let's get some Icor Seed down. He's going to leave one avatar at base. Again, these tripods are cheaper. So we're going to see how well they just leave fair here. And let's see if he makes that transition to infantry once again. We're going to move our drone ship forward just so we can place down supporting buzzer hives. Let's use a tip vibration scan as well just to reveal where he is on the map. I think he may be trying to flank me as well. That's possible. Okay. He's going for a secret shrine. Okay, so infantry... Maybe coming out here. I don't want to go for Ravagers though, because they just don't stick as well as what I like them to. Okay, so we go for a couple of Shard Walkers, get that blue Shard upgrade as well for our infantry. Maybe get some Growth Stimulators as well. But because we've got all these Harvesters, we're just going to chill here for the time being. I'm just going to poke in though, see what we can find. A couple of Scorpion Tanks, no, probably. He's got Enlightened, yep, he's going to do that. Yeah, so he is actually, after all, going for that transition. And I will see to your comments after, guys. But for now, I haven't got the attenuated force field upgrade. Let's get that online, transfer some of these harvests to this field. Okay. Oh, so far so good. Alright, back into tripods. It's got infantry here. Let's use the storm support power. Take out those imp. And that's give me GG. I mean, rightfully so, because I killed all of his harvesters in the expansion. So, I mean, if I had $3,000 tripods there, I probably would have had one less there. 
maybe would have made a big enough difference for it to work. Yeah, the stasis shield was nerfed. Uh, it, the duration of it is much less uh, hype. So it's not nearly as good as before, because before you could trap half your opponent's army, kill the other half, and then re-engage. But because now it doesn't last so long, it's more of a stalling effect. How much are the purifiers? $2,500. So you're only paying $300 more for a flamethrower, which is really good. Like, I'd argue that's better than the avatar for the money. That's a significant cost reduction for a tier 3 unit there. I noticed you asked if Storm Riders were $1,800 on PC. Yes, they, they were never $1,800. In fact, maybe 1 point in 1.0 what they were. But that quickly changed and all the factions of Skrin received $1,500 Storms afterwards. It's only this patch here, 1.03, where there's a significant change between the sub-faction Storm Riders. It's not the cost though, it's the way the Storm Rider works. It's um, a one of the sh Storm Riders, the Reaper one, shoots st shards instead of, you know, their regular attack. Anyway, what faction am I up against here? I really am going to get punished for this if I am not... Actually, I'm probably going to go for a Seeker first on this map. I can't see myself scouting. Well, maybe I can. I mean, it's quite a big map. I doubt he'll make 10 militants and try and anti-scout everywhere. If he did, then, yeah, that that's an argument for going Seeker first, because if your opponent makes, like, 20 militants to anti-scout a map, and you just send a Seeker through the middle, especially with the gun damage being huge, gun damage arm being huge, then just just do that. Bye, bye, bye. Ah. By the way, infantry can get healed by the warp sphere. It's going to have one of these buildings garrisoned up. Uh, you have faith viewers and blank. Bike probably started streaming then. Oh, oh my god! See what I mean? This is this is why I, I need to go for that seeker first. Because you know that he's got tons of uh, freaking those. I, I don't want to take the risk. Yeah, I do want to take the risk. We, we, if I put the seeker on 99% and he does show up a bunch of bikes, I can just spawn the seeker. And yeah. When the Seeker spawns, I'll be able to, uh, you know, fend the bikes back. What I'm more concerned about is a flame tank. We'll get one Seeker out here now, though, just to scout. There's blue tip on this map in this corner. I'm just going to hotkey that real quick. Not sure if you could do that on Xbox. Uh, hot, um, bo um, bookmarks. Something that I rarely use, really, as well. Uh, it's... it's, it's Usually when I drop around the map, I just use the groups. Anyway, uh, what I like about Trial for the Nine is they got infantry, which is really powerful. Uh, not just for defense, but for offense. So we're going to go for a bunch of infantry here, just because if he does pop out of this fog of war here with a bunch of bikes, then yeah, I'll be, he's going. Five, he's got five houses there. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's go for some descent. I expect that body to come soon. Now, if he if he sees the synths and he goes for buggies, what do I make that kills buggies? In this rock paper scissor counter system that we have here, is it mechapedes? I mean, mechapedes don't have good segments anymore. They have the descent segment, which is probably really similar to Xbox, but DPS is a lot lower. Okay, sees this now. Okay, now this is where we're at in this game. So now, actually. If he's going for buggy spam, we want to go for tripods. I mean, tripods may be the way to go. We'll put this portal, though, on 99%. Have I got seven harvesters? Let's rally some one over here. As well as uh, a raiding party on his harvesters. How does he see this? Oh, reverse me bug. Gimme, gimme. Well, that all distracted for a bit. Oh, he's going to clean me up there, unfortunately. Going to assign that scorpion tank, though, to uh, defend. Going to kill it, though. Going to bank up some money now for more useful units. Namely, Mechapedes. And yeah, he's now got to deal with that spike, so he can't go to that blue tip anymore. Harvester. Would I not make that harvester earlier? To go to that blue field? I think I did. We'll take it now, though. 
Okay. I'm going to go attack his base here. Try and distract him. Flame tank is there. Oh, I've got to watch for that flame tank because that's a menace. Come on. You can do it, Seekers. Come on. Kill that harvester. Yeah, there we go. One click's not punishing either, so I'm going to be able to get into his base. What the hell is that? It's a militant squad. He's going to see these mecha bees. Actually, flame tank there. Let's take that out. Cue these uh, buggies up as well, just to destroy. And because I played so much Traveller, I'm, I'm even though the, this is nerfed, the the thingy, uh, the wormhole, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to take his base over with the wormhole. Could take that tier 3 over. That's exactly what we're looking to do. He's got a Venom's out. He knows what's coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you bug like that. Naughty Venom. Naughty Mecha. Wait, did I not kill that? One. Wow, just about. What the? No. Did I not kill that? I'm pretty sure I killed that flame tank. Am I missing things that I've seen? Oh, dear. Okay. He's got Venoms over it as well. He knows. Does he really know? Oh, my God. That's funny. That is really funny. Wow, man, he, he knows. That's insane. Come on. In the in the freaking portal. Why did it not go in there? This is this game is so bugged. Oh my god. I couldn't get my prodigy into the portal, into the wormhole. Also, these mechas just are not doing damage now. They're not they used to. Even with the descent segments, I'm not too um, pleased with the DPS I'm seeing. Oh, I moved those seekers away as well. Yeah, from his. Oh God, this is just embarrassing. Okay, well he doesn't know I'm spamming packs, so I might be able to use my OP packs for a sneak victory. Oh shit, that's the redeemer, he's going to use his rage gen here. Okay. He's got a stealth base. Redeemer's up there. Okay, good to know. That's the power of stealth. You know, he made a room... Considering how he lost those harvesters, what he did there was pretty insane. I think I'm going to move out with six packs, though, before... Actually, look at this. Wow, that speed. Oh, my God. Well, these don't miss anymore, these packs, so he better have something to deal with this, or he is in trouble. Right, kill the Venoms. Okay. Well, they did something.
These may be a slightly OP though, I have to admit. That's a lot of DPS. And if they don't miss, then... You know what he's going to transition to now. He's going to go into stealth tanks or infantry. I guarantee it. Actually, no, stealth tanks won't do it. CGF told me that stealth tanks don't cut it anymore. He's going for the infantry. He's not got an expansion. Okay. Actually, he may have an expansion. So much packs here. The speed, that speed, man. Probably slightly ridiculously. It's slightly OP. Just going to barely clean up that AA defense. I think the, the, the drones spawn in slightly faster as well. What we have here is a pretty epic clash. I need to go for Devastate Warships on the front line here. I'm going to put a Storm Column here. Damn, the, the, the drones, like, look how quick they spawn. Is there just no counter to this? For the Nod guy. I'm thinking of just using Overlord's Wrath on his uh, base, on his army. Temporal plus Overlord's Wrath would be a good option for me. What the fuck you doing, Devastator Warships? I've seen that happen quite a bit recently. Wow, wrong... I didn't want this. I wanted the Overlord's Wrath. Come on, Overlord's Wrath. Is this still out? It's out ahead as well. Okay, are those bikes? What's he got there? I'm stuck in waypoint mode. Course. I could not kick this any better than what I am doing, even if I tried. He's not got stealth in his base, so uh, one flame tank around the back would be a problem. Let's go for a storm column. Of course, that redeem is not so useful. Why this mothership, man? When have you ever seen a game like this with a mothership, Devastator warships, and packs? This feels like early Tiberium Wars days, where you just sit back and spam packs, and then you probably win, and then you go back to your base. Replenish the drones and you know rinse and repeat. That's how it works. The speed of the pack is just too much. I, I think, I think CGF's overdid this. In my opinion, I just, I just think, think he's really overdid the buff here. He's got a heroic buggy. That's commendable. By the way, if this pack, if this mothership dies. We'll tank some damage. See, it's it just no, it just uh, emptied all my forces. Oh my god! What the hell? CGF, you've got some explaining to do here. I shouldn't deserve to win this. I just don't feel he's got an answer to it. Just... 
Okay, this... <laughs> I'm not doing... I'm not doing anything. I'm... I'm literally not doing anything. This this reminds me of my early days playing Tib Gardens. Only it's this is worse. If if this was in 4v4, <laughs> I don't think Screen would ever lose. Look, see, I'm not doing anything, guys. No micro. No no micro at all. Just uh, yeah, just killing him. Yep. Yep. No no counter for Nod. Despite the epic fail early on, it doesn't matter. I've got these packs. I mean, what can he do against this? Look, the pack speed is ridiculous. Is he? The packs are faster now. Okay, he's probably going to mention here that these are slightly OP. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. I even got my mothership's uh, my mothership to amp my own units there, and it didn't even matter. You don't need to do anything but spam this. Just spam this. Go across the map. Just watch the the carnage and destruction. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Alien tech is realistic now. Yeah, this is this is what the invasion of Earth should have been. CGF, are you here in this chat? Please tell me that is not slightly OP. Oh my god. I don't normally get mad, but what do I build? I, I usually I can build something, but that game I couldn't. Devastator warships? I was constantly thinking in my mind, look, I need some Devastator warships here. Like even a pack would be good. But, yeah, I tried to make the 60-second Shock Trooper jobs work. Finally enough, when the Shock Troopers had the 45-second drop, uh, which they had before the last patch, I would have been able to use that Shock Trooper ability more frequently. Probably would have won the game with that. So, yeah, CGF, maybe it wasn't a good idea making that cooldown 60 seconds. Ah. Okay, well, let's give me a screen mirror. Of course, he knows that I'm Reaper 17. Am I not? Wow, well, I'm really not building, aren't I, today? Okay, well, he's got those. To since he's gonna try and take out my spike. I did make a gunwalker just because I want to get the a good a good trade here. See so if I can try and get a good trade. He's probably gonna pull back to base though with his descents maybe. Yeah, here he goes back to base with his uh, speed because um, descents are faster now. They can probably be outrun shard walkers, which makes this really the the most risk free thing thing to do in the game. See, I can't even punish that because my shard walk is slower than the descents. See, I'm not even gaining ground on him. So, yep. Uh, descents can't be counted with Shardwalkers before upgrade. Interesting. I think they should be at least a tad slower than the Shardwalker. I mean, come on. Go try and get... Uh, hit two birds of one stone here and kill this as well. I am not building these games. Pretty sure I've I've been I've about seven or eight seconds behind of him because I haven't been building in the last uh, few minutes. Yeah, this is really putting me behind now. I've, he's going to cover refinery down. I just haven't been really keeping on top of my my macro. I'm so tilted from that last game. Actually, let's go mechas. Like, let's do the classic screen 
strategy with the mecha piece, see if we can make that work. Instead of uh, this, this synth segments, though, the shard segments, we go for the synth segments. Okay. Bit fearful of something in this flank here. I'm gonna go see. Could have something here as well, like a strike force of the synths. Yep, I expected that. All right. Let's put these drones down here because it doesn't look like he's got anything to stop this as well. I could also. Yeah, great. Um... That was a waste of money. This is so awkward, this game. I'm wasting my money. Well, we can see how the descents work out for me. Okay, well, the descents will stem the flow for now. Always a good transition going into disintegrators. Is he going for mechas of his own? Yeah, he is. He's going for mechas. He's got one out. Probably going to have a storm cone queued as well. I'm not going to go so much into mecha piece though. I'm going to go switch it into tripods quickly. Quickly switch it up. Not happy with my focus firing. How many mechs is that? Three? Is that a prodigy there? No, it's not. Never mind. We're going into the tri Rupert tripods, getting the shields upgrades for them as well. I should really be using my Icor seeds all the time. I didn't get a. Oh my god. The mechas, he's got them out in force. One thing about uh, tri um, Reap 17 is I have this free scan which I can use to reveal where his mechapedes are. Which they're right there. You can't go into that forever though. Has he got a proxy like portal here? He keeps spamming those descents. I think he may have. Let's go see. Hmm, he's going for my base. Are you sure about that? I don't think that's a wise choice. Where are his mecha peas? These mechas are over there. He's going to have to stop this drone ship short from expanding. Shock troopers. Okay. I don't think it's worth transitioning into infantry still in this game. I just, even in this patch, it just seems like infantry are fragile. So I wouldn't say that's a good idea. Well, I don't think it is anyways. We'll see though. I forgot to make a stasis shield. We're gonna work on that now. Mm, Mechapedes. So you got them like loaded with just swarm support power. What's over here? Seeker. Let's go see what we can do with that. He may try and go for my base here. Swarm. He doesn't have the teleport.
Okay. It's kind of hard micring these fights. <laughs> That's going to be it. Goes all in there. Um, it fe felt more or less like a 1.2 plus game where if you overspend on Mecha Peds, then yeah, you just lose the tripods. It's, it's, it's the same matchup, right? It's exactly the same thing. And you can't go air, you can't go infantry because they get hard countered by the base defenses and by the upgrades. In this case, not so much the upgrades. It's just buzzers tear instantly kill infantry. Just a string of unfortunate events. I, I, I really get tilted easily. I mean, the, the amount of bullshit that's happened to me tonight. Like, it cannot get worse. I, including the disconnect. Okay, that, that's including my internet randomly disconnecting during a stream. I mean, there's only so much I can take, really. I'm going for a rush against Nod. Why am I doing this? I should have gone for a refinery first and went for a seeker. This is not going to work what I'm doing. Yeah, it's too easy to shut this bat down. He's just going to win. There's no need to even go for fast legs either because he can just... Uh, the speed discrepancy between the fast legs and non-fast legs is insignificant. So it's just totally not worth it what I'm doing here. What a fail. Yep. It won't do anything, this. It, it, it wasn't even what I wanted to do. I just wanted to go for a Seeker first. Probably missed a chance to kill a buggy there. Yep, and I'm dead. See? This is what happens when you're not playing good. You're not even remotely thinking of uh, how to win. How to play. We're just going to move her here, see what we can find. Move that... Uh, move that into the harvester. By the way, a trick I learned back in the day is to move one descent into a harvester just so that it reveals the, the unit that's cloaked while the others shoot it. It's not going to be enough though, He's, I'm still going to lose. I, I After what's happened to me in that last game, I, haven't, I, I just don't think it's possible, really. You'll find some way of re recovering from this. 100% sure of it. Another buddy comes out to clean me up as well as more militants. Yeah, he's going to clean up my rush now. Uh, he's overspending on buggies though. I don't really necessarily agree on that. Oh my god. Let's just go for a mass seeker from two war factories because seekers are just boss now. Plus he'll probably try and go for flame tanks or something to get himself ahead again. Um, or to, re to re make up for the loss of his harvester, which was just four. I mean, if you kill a full harvester, that is worth more than one that isn't four. He didn't even scout my war factory, so I could get away with this. Double War Factory cheese if he isn't looking. Hmm, maybe going for the blue tip as well. Let's go see. Okay. Well, we're going to take it ourselves then, this blue Tiberium. I assume he's going for a Double War Factory here. I mean, I think he's doing that. Buggy Scout will reveal what I'm doing, going for that Shredder Turret. He'll transition to infantry now. Yep, going for that infantry. I've got a couple Seekers here as well, which I can use to reinforce. Cheers for the follow. Um... 
these seekers doing? They should be killing. Uh, should be rallying over there. Who will get a refinery up now? I need to go for a tier two. Try and clean up that infantry swarm. One tank here that's a bit out of position. Will be able to get myself a snipe. Because I'm trying to 59, so I can make a quick switch to infantry. One unit getting left behind there. That's unfortunate. Go for that expand. Right. I think that's going to be it here for future map. I don't know how he lost the harvester. I haven't got. I haven't made that rush work in ages. So am I going for the attenuated? I already got that. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. Well, I am ahead here, but I can easily throw it if I don't micro well. Taking more blue Tybrim still. Fushama knows that I'm tilted, so he's just gonna just gonna play on, which is infuriating because usually you should lose at this point. So it's like he knows that he he can still t bring this back. Okay, uh, oh, we've only got one ref on this field. Oh man. That's not. I thought I had uh, two refs there. Apparently not, though. Okay. Just come to here at the top of his base, take out the base there. Go for a tech as well. He's got shredder turrets all over the place. Uh, swarm support power does nothing here. How has he already used his mind control? Is the ability, the cooldown, more on these? I think it is. Wait, what happened to the cooldown on these things? Getting stuck on his forces. I could probably just spam packs at this point. I am that far ahead currently. And but these Shredder turrets do like shotgun type damage, so you can just run past them. They won't do any damage to you. Okay. It's a really tough cookie to crack, I have to say. I'm gutted about that um, game on Airstrip. But it seems like I've gotten over it. Let's go for packs, because yeah, why not? We can. Is he going? He's still got his air tower, yeah, so he can still go for uh, venoms and stuff. I may just see how good these toxin segments are and just go straight into his uh, base with the toxin mecha piece and kill his tier 3. Remember, fences also uh, only give 10% more armor now. It's not like before where it was uh, double the armor of a building. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and take out this tech center and that's going to be it. 
Oh my god. Well, there you go. The Ravagers can beat Cabals, which is crazy. Well, it's freaking tweet. How much more is the Ravager squad? I mean, you expect that. It's a dedicated anti infantry unit. Of course, it's going to kill Cabals. The whole reason why they got buffed is because they were bloody useless before. If they didn't kill a Cabal, then they would make them. I expect the Flame Cabal. <laughs> yeah, but that's just going to die instantly to the Ravager squad. We're going to go for the Free Descent because, yeah, I love abuse. That was free, by the way. I mean, in tournaments, I'd probably get disqualified for it. I just like doing it anyways because it's something I found, like, last week. Oh my god, despite the nerf to the buzzers versus rifles, I was able to win that engagement to melt that, yeah. Uh, reverse is a GDI, which means bad things are coming. It means that we can go for a load of Storm Riders because he's seen the Storm Riders there many times. You know what, guys? Guys, if we're going to go Storm Riders, we're going to hide the, gravity, the, the, the Explorer here. And there's no bloody way he will find that. He, he will not expect proxy gravity stabilizer storm riders in the corner of his base. He will—he just won't expect it. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Because he's going to go for them uh, firehawks, guarantee it. He's going to go for a bunch of fi uh, firehawks, and he's going to be oppressive with those. If I go tripods, I can't—I um, can't get enough of them out. And because my shard AA is nerfed, I can't kill the Firehawks so easily, so I need to go for the buff Storm Riders. That's just how the balance works now. So you, you might say, okay, Storms are more effective now, but yeah, on the flip side, shards have been nerfed massively, so uh, it's kind of a huge deal that if I don't have anything good. I mean, considering how GI have got across the board buffs with the infantry and the railguns, I don't think it's such a huge problem getting a few buffs here and there for Skrin. Uh, especially when you factor in the hexapod being absolutely useless. Yeah, of course Shard AA was nerfed because while it was effective versus Hammer Firehawks, it was just OP versus everything else. I mean, you, you cannot say to me that Shards, the anti-air turret, wasn't OP. It was just insane. I mean, it literally tripled the damage of an enemy of, a, of that. It, it tripled it. I am not kidding. Uh, he's going pit balls, which means he's going to go for a little attack on my base. Yeah, this is what he likes to do a lot. Wonder though if it's worth it though in the... Uh, I don't know. But it's going to delay my strategy here. Also, he's going to see my drone ship, which means I can't redo what I wanted to, which I said to guys earlier. But yeah, he's going to be going in for that push soon. By the way, tier 1 base defenses have received a HP nerf, so bear that in mind, they do die quickly. Panda, you have learnt last game that they're pretty crap now when it comes to endurance. They're not really that durable. Okay, pit balls. Let's get that explorer over here. Uh hmm. Shardwalkers. Because he might go infantry, and if I don't get anything against infantry that could spawn out of nowhere, then yeah, I'm in trouble. Oh my god, that's bad. Again, it's hard to sneak anything past Futrama because he's just so good at uh, spawning things. Let's go for those growth stimulators now. Let's clean up this rifle too. Okay. Right. Spring Preds, fine, that's fine by me. Let's go for the attenuated force field upgrade. Well, he's losing tons of his pickles. What is he doing here? I have. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but that was a huge mistake. Hmm. Yeah. could hide the tier 3 over here so that when his firehawks come in he won't know where it is ok 
Okay, he's scouting all over the place just to see what I've got. Uh, hopefully he hasn't seen that there. Banking up money anyway. Okay. No AP ammo, which means we're just going to kill these APCs here. Alright. Hmm. About that. That didn't work out so well. We'll go for the shards anyways, just because... Actually, no, I want to go for a Mechapede. Yeah, Mechapede and the tripods. I've had to change my strategy, guys, because, yeah, I was getting camped there. I actually get a buzzer now. Before, you didn't get a buzzer from the As Reaper 17. All right, well... And by the way, I'm floating so much money because I want to spend it on tripods. That's why I'm doing this. So, yeah, guys, that's why that's happening. So I need to get that Tiberium as well in the middle of the map. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. Okie dokie. He's got a huge army of tier 1. Probably going for railguns soon. Okay. Going for a two-pronged attack here. Going to take out my Tiberium spikes. All right. He's got so much funds. How the hell? What the hell is going on? Um, gonna have to steamroll into his base, I think, with my drone ship, just as I did last game. I may just have my base contained here. Yeah, he's got that there. An expansion. Uh, best thing I can do is just sit in my base for the time being. Grab some of this blue Tiberium and just wait it out, I think. That's probably my best option. Just going to scout up here, see what he's got. I'll try and make full use of the tripods. He's going to go into infantry, no doubt. Let's see how many infantry he's going into. He's going into rocket squad. Don't want to lose my forces here. Okay. Future, I'm doing a good job, like, stopping me pushing out. Got Preds over there. How has he got so much more than me, man? Like, what the hell's... That's insane. Let's move this drone ship forward. Alright. Well, he's coming into my base now. I don't know how the hell he's able to afford all this, man. Like, really. Could go for a tier 4. Um... I just can't contain with all these armies he's got. He's got them scattered all over the place. Uh, wrong thing there. Uh, let's get this upgrade here so I can do some harvest harass. I've already got the shock pods ability. Alright. In the back of my base, trying to do some work. Um, Building. Insufficient funds. He's got army over here too. Come on, you can do it. There we go. I think CGF mentioned that these don't these don't phase out so quickly now. Oh well, I cleaned up some of his army. He's going for mammoth tanks now. Oh god, uh, has he got another expansion? I've got nine tripods. I can't really just go straight into his uh, expansion here with all my army. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Alright, everything on group number two except this lot here, can, which can go here. This is an awkward spot to be in. I 
I'm hoping to use the Overlord's Wrath as well on my opponent. Face field, I got that. Okay. Damn it, man. He's probably got mouth tanks over there. Take out that husk. Come on. Come on. Wow, what the fuck was that? Wow, this is an insane Buzzer Swarm support power here. Jeez. Right, well, he's got a couple of mouth tanks, it's just that mix of mouth tanks and infantry that I need to be very careful about. Was that my tripod that I just lost there? Wow, I'm not doing a good job of taking out these husks. Future armor, really, he does this, he just seems to do this all the time with me. Oh, I'm not moving my forces in the way I should. Ah. Mav tank there, probably need to take that out somehow. Yeah, Futurama is well aware of what I'm up to. Growth stimulator is trying to, I'm trying to make those pay off. He's probably going for more mouth tanks as I said before. Um, I don't, what the hell do I do man? This is... Tripods, <laughs> gun walkers, that's really it isn't it for Reaper when it comes to this stage of the game. Use my stasis shield. I mean, if he doesn't attack me soon, I can always make that stasis work again. So, yeah, I mean, there's always that. Let's get that scout off here. Let's get a scout off in his base here as well. Let's see what we can find. I'll probably always go for a hexapod. Mammoth tanks. Gearing up for a huge assault, I see. Oh, an MCV. Hmm. For, wow, how is he? Look, man, what the f like? The amount of resources this guy has had is insane. Right, swarm support power. Take that husk over. <laughs> what? That 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 freaking Sonic Amir there. That is really doing work. Oh my god. Would you please quiet down? Uh, more infantry coming up. Just I can't can't deal with this. I need devastated warships. Despite my efforts. No, the fucking MCV is just too much. Come on. Construction 
Right, well, um... Yeah, these freaking Sonics, oh my god. Wait, what happened to my barracks? How did they lose that? Zone troopers? I, I had a portal there like one second ago. One Sonic emitter shot kills that now? I, I find this really hard to believe. Yeah, and again, once again, the mod seems to be that will prevail. I just don't have Devastator Warships, so he's just going to abuse that fact. And also, Zone Troopers have got a huge buff as well. Uh, I'm looking to use that Swarm support power. Uh, a couple support powers here I'm looking to use. Oh, no, 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 no. More Sonic emitters coming down. If I kill this MCV, maybe I got a chance, but it's looking increasingly impossible currently. Come on, kill it. Bloody hell. Oh, come on. Oh, my fucking God. This guy is getting insane. Like how much DPS do I need to kill an MCV? Bloody hell. Like 10 hours later, the MCV finally dies. No? You serious? Come on. Fuck me. I've never seen anything so insane than that. What the fuck? That clutch engineer. Ah, oh, GG. I can't believe my luck there. That was insane.